Hi, welcome to my channel in Maine. This video is going to cover setting up C Lion to do C++ development on Mac OS with the SFML graphics library. Um, we're going to start out here. I've got a virtual machine running uh, Big Sur or the latest um, Mac operating system and I've gone out here to jetbrains.com and under developer tools C Lion and then um, go to the download link and here we can download the package it recognizes that I'm on uh, Mac OS and I've already downloaded that So I'm just going to go ahead and go uh, get the install started and I'll be pausing during the longer parts of the installs on some of these pieces. Alright so once this opens up this is kind of cool I'm not a Mac person so I thought this was cool we just drag that over onto applications and then it'll open up. And it's actually doing the install right now. It goes pretty quick on this piece. So I'll just let it finish out and then I can open Sea Lion. Almost there. Okay. And we should get there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna launch that. All right, it'll go through a verifying and then it's going to ask me if I really wanted to open this thing that I downloaded from the dangerous internet. All right, and I do want to open it. Yes, yeah, so it's going to send me notifications. I got to go through the user agreement and I don't need to send any statistics. All right and if you have a email account um, with a .edu extension you can go out um, go out to jetbrains.com and register for an education account and then you can come back in here and put in your information that you registered um, and if you just uh, do the evaluate for 30 days you can come back in here and activate it All right, and so I'll hit continue. All right, and now Sea Lion is up and ready to go, um, but we need Sea uh, Lion does not actually come with the C++ build environment, the compiler and assembler and linker. So we need to get those. And what we're going to do, if we follow along, and I'll have links for all of um, the web pages I've go to here. But uh, following along this um, uh, tutorial here on configuring Sea Lion on Mac OS, this is from JetBrains.com. Uh, uh, we've already done the install and now we're going to um, get the development tools and what we're going to do is we're going to borrow them from Xcode. So if you have Xcode on your machine you may already have this but it's worth it to go ahead and run it just in case. So I'm going to click this little copy icon and then I need to open up a terminal. So I'm just going to start typing terminal and hit enter. All right, and then I can paste that command here and hit enter. And yes, I really want to install it. And yes, I agree to it. Okay, so it's going to go out and install. That'll take a little bit. So I'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay, so that's installed now. We have our build tools. 
we can come back to Sea Lion and go to Customize and go to All Settings. And then we come down to Build, Execution, Deployment, and click on Tool Chains, and it will actually discover the build tools from Xcode that we just um, loaded, which are the command line build tools. Any second now. There we go. All right, so I found the C compiler and the C++ compiler. All right, um, we can say OK on that and go back to projects. We won't start a project yet. If we come back out to this page, um, the tutorial goes into a change that um, can be made to the debugger, but uh, the property setting that they reference has already been uh, fixed uh, when CLion installs, so you shouldn't need to do that. Um, so next is we want to set up the SFML graphics library. So, well, that was not what I wanted. What happened there? Maybe I... That should have been it. Let's see. Okay, something was wrong with my URL. I'll have to make sure that's correct, but uh, if we follow this tutorial now, uh, we can get the SFML library set up. And what we're talking about is um, if we come out here to sfml-dev.org, um, that would take you to the home page. And then if we go to download, uh, we want to download the stable releases. And if we come down here, we could download the Mac OS version here, but we're not going to do it that way. We're going to follow this tutorial, which uses Homebrew to install it, which is nice because if we download it manually, then we have to copy all the libraries and include files to the right folders and get permission set on them, whereas Homebrew will do it for us. Um, to use Homebrew, if you don't already have it installed on your Mac, you can go out to brew.sh and I'll have this link and right here on the front is a link to install homebrew and it talks about homebrew is is a package manager similar to the package managers that we have on Linux to do like an app get install but I've copied that I'm going to come back over here into my terminal hit paste I'm going to hit enter it's going to ask me for my password here so you Okay, and then this is what it's going to do, where it's going to copy everything. I'm just going to hit return, and okay, so we'll be back as soon as that finishes installing. Okay, so now we have Homebrew installed. We can use Homebrew to install um, our SFML. So we're just going to use this command here, brew install SFML. I just hit enter a couple times to give me some blank lines. So brew install SFML. Okay, and that's going to start installing, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we should have SFML installed. Um, there's some ways we could check. We could go look at those directories where things are supposed to be installed, but what we're going to do is just carry along with this um, tutorial here. We're going to create a project. It doesn't matter where we put it, but we want to call it Hello SFML with the same capitalization because that'll just make this first tutorial uh, a lot quicker because we're not really going to go into what the code does. We just want to get this working and make sure it works. So we're going to go back to C line and we're going to create a new project. And I like to put it in documents only because that's easy to find in finder and then I'm going to get rid of the C line and just call it projects and then where it says untitled that's going to be our project name and I'm just going to call that oops, um, 
hello SFML. Uh, the language standard for C++ is fine. I'll do create. And CLion, the IDE should load up here with our project in it. And let's see, got it. Uh, nope, I did not mean to click on that. That's fine. I want it to access my documents folder. I don't want the open project wizard. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so here's our project uh, workspace over here. Our project, we have this cmakelist.txt file. We see that in the editor here. And then we have our main cpp file. And that's this file here. Okay, so we need to put our source code here, and in this make file, this is um, a script to tell the build, the um, preprocessor and compiler and assembler and linker what to do. So we're just going to grab that from the tutorial. So if we scroll down just a little bit further, here's the make file that we need. The only thing that was important was that we kept this project name the same. So I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that and then come back over and I'm going to highlight all of this and then I'm going to just paste that new code over it. All right. And then I need to click this reload changes and then I can go back to the main and back here again to the web page and scroll down just a little bit and I can copy all of their source code for this tutorial come back over here highlight everything in main and then paste that over it all right and now I can come up here and do a build All right, we got build finish, everything's green, we didn't get any errors, so we know it's recognizing the SFML stuff because we see it being included and we see um, stuff from SFML, non-standard C++ stuff. So, all right, now all we have to do is click run, and we're looking for a window to show up with a circle in it. And there we go, there's our little SMML application window with our little cayenne colored circle in it. So that's it for this tutorial that'll help you get um, CLion set up with the Xcode command line build tools and the SFML um, graphics library on Mac.